Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, you're number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this habit It's like I want you 24-7 When I'm without you, boy, I feel sick Think you look better than my prescriptions Nothing feels as good as you do Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Courtney and my twin sister Ashley and I share this YouTube channel together. So if you couldn't tell in today's overview for everyone, is no if you couldn't tell in today's overview the motivation i have for everyone is a really really good cleaning of my upstairs bathroom you're gonna see it was pretty bad in this overview i try to get as much close-ups as i can of how dirty it was especially the bathtub area it was disgusting but we're gonna go in clean this up and act like this never even happened okay and we're also gonna have some laundry motivation as well I will fold four loads, but with some YouTube magic and editing, you only see me fold a little bit of the first one and a little bit of the last one. I won't have you sitting here for four hours watching me fold all of the laundry. We're going to put that away and we're just going to do a little quick tidy up of my bedroom. And then at the very end of my video, like I did in last week's video, I'm going to do some gardening. We're going to pick some fruits and veggies. And if you're interested in that, again, it is at the end of today's video for everyone that is interested in that. So first, we're going to start off, obviously, in the bathroom area. We're going to, I'm going to show you what cleaners I'm going to go in with in today's video for the bathroom. And if you have any questions, please feel free to um Ask down below in the comment section. Give this video a like if you end up liking it. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content. And share it around to anybody else that can use this type of motivation. Um, I will pop in and out when needed. Let's get into what I thought was dry laundry but wasn't dry laundry and having to restart it. So yeah, let's get into this.
So I forgot to tell you, I am changing the shower liner. In the overview in the beginning, I showed you how moldy and disgusting it was. I didn't stay on top of washing it in my washer machine. Um, so yes, you can technically wash these and you like dry them for like a minute in your dryer, but I do not recommend it if you've never done it before because it will completely ruin the inside of your dryer. It will get stuck all inside it and like never be able to get it out. So if you're not comfortable doing it, please do not do that. Do not do it. Just go get another one. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> so I needed to get a new one, which I did. I picked it up at Walmart. It was like $10, $10 for the medium weight one or something like that. Sorry if you can hear my kiddo. She's sitting beside me. Summertime, if you know what I mean. But just try to ignore her if you can. But yeah, so I had to buy a new one. It was like $10, which was absolutely ridiculous. I don't remember them being that much money when I was buying them before. And I also showed you that I'm going, I went in with a uh, foam cleaner for the shower and the what's that called sink area and you have to let that sit for 10 minutes it's the great value brand so it's the walmart brand so while i was waiting for the cleaner to sit for 10 minutes i went in and decided to go on cleaning with the toilet area instead of just sitting and waiting around i won't figure it let me get the toilet done the whole area anything else that i can get done in between waiting for this to sit now i let it sit for a little longer than 10 minutes because you know stay at home mom life or whatever mom life or whatever it might be for you um i had to go do lunch drinks mom this mom that or whatever the case may be for you so it did sit for probably 25 minutes but it didn't do anything to any other surfaces that i did spray it on so if you end up leaving it more than 10 minutes i think you're perfectly fine but again always make sure you test areas when you go in with a new cleaner in your house because you don't want to go in spray everything down and it be completely ruined that would be horrible so make sure you always do a test area I did go in with the Clorox disinfecting wipes, and I'm, I also went in with the Clorox toilet wand. I'm cleaning the case area. I always make sure that I clean my, um, what is that thing called, scrubbies, even when it's the old bristle brushes. I always make sure I always clean that stuff down because my mind, it goes crazy, and I think the bacteria is crawling out, going all over the floor, and everything in the bathroom. So, yeah, that's just my way my mind works. So I always make sure I wipe that down, and also, if you have a plunger, when you use it, make sure you always go in and disinfect it after. Because another thing is just, to me, it germs crawling all over the place if you don't. So, anyways, enough about that. We're going in, making sure we get these baseboards. Later on, you will see me use the vacuum. Some of the shots, I didn't get a good one, but I go in with my vacuum and clean up the baseboards as well. I didn't go in with disinfecting wipes or anything like that. They just needed a quick dusting, nothing crazy, because I did just do that not too long ago. So anyways, once we are done with the toilet area, like I said, we're going to go in on cleaning the sink and then the shower area. So let's get into finishing up this area so we can finish doing the rest of the bathroom. Worlds collided You had me from hello Till you came in focus I barely noticed that I was all alone One night, one kiss Now I'm addicted You got me all My head is spinning
little, had a little, had a little, and I want a lot. I want a lot. Please don't keep me waiting. I've only had a taste of love. So we got the toilet done, we got the sink done, we are now, that load is finally done. So I just went in with only the rug and the shower curtain, um, just because I wanted to get that done before I threw in a bigger load, and that way I would have it done for the overview for you guys of everything all nice and clean, plus uh, I didn't really want to mix in the floor mat and the shower curtain, just because of... I don't know, it just felt weird throwing that in with clothes. For some reason, it just did. So, yeah, I went in with that. Plus, as a shorter amount of time, I showed you what I went in to use as a detergent and what I used in my dryer for dryer sheets as well. So, I love the smell of that detergent. Plus, it's more affordable and it works really, really, really good. I'm literally just getting out of that bottle, almost done, but I have a whole nother one right beside it, like you've probably seen a few times in this video. But finishing in that up so that way I can open my new one and we will be switching over a load again and drying it again in today's video. Like I said, I do have that laundry motivation for everybody folding it and putting it away as well. Now I'm just giving you some close ups here of scrubbing down this tub and shower combo area. The tub area specifically was the worst. The walls were not too bad at all, but where the drain area is, like that end of the, the tub was the worst. So bad. So, so, so bad. I don't know why I let it get like that, but like I said in a million videos, this bathroom is my forgotten bathroom because it is upstairs. I have another full bathroom downstairs. Well, not full, full is a stand-up shower instead of with a tub. But that bathroom is the one that gets used the most out of both the bathrooms. I only use this bathroom when I am upstairs and I am barely ever upstairs unless it's to like sleep and shower. So, yeah. It's, it's not like I'm, I constantly use this bathroom. So it's one of those, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I know, it's like, who did it and ran? And I did it and ran, I guess, because I didn't, I neglected it. <laughs> so we will be going in with some, with using a toothbrush here and there on today's tub. Uh, it needed it. It was, I was done. I was sweating after I was done scrubbing out this tub. It was so bad, but. Woo. Anyways, once we're done scrubbing down this tub, I'm going to go in with a cup and some hot water to rinse everything off just to get the chemicals off the, the uh, shower so no one gets a chemical burn or anything like that. And yeah, so let's get into cleaning. Oh, look, see, you can kind of tell there that the water is a little yellow. Like, that's how bad my tub was. It was bad. It, it doesn't pick it up on camera. It's what makes me so mad. That's why Ashley and I do these close-ups for you guys because we try so hard to show you guys how dirty things are and we're not cleaning a clean home. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get into this. Well, one more thing before I go. Well, before I bounce back in with some music and then come and chit-chat more. Um, I did leave the Clorox bottle there on the sink area. So I just want to quickly explain that when I'm going to put the products back in my shower that we use, like the shampoo, the soaps and stuff, um, I do rinse and clean off the bottles here in the tub area and you can't see that I'm doing that. So I do start off the clip a little slow to show you, but then I speed it up from there. But I did leave the Clorox bottle right there and move the camera there. And I didn't realize you guys could not see that I was rinsing off the bottles. But anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to explain that. Let's get back to it. I'm waiting for the special touch you give. I'm leaving it more than I ever knew Don't wanna be a sacrifice enough For you I'm waiting for the special touch you give I'm leaving it more than I ever knew Don't wanna be a sacrifice enough For you I will I'm waiting for the touch 
So I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but the screen when I was wiping down the washer and dryer was like kind of bright dimmed, bright dim. I forgot to push to keep my setting where it was at. And so it was kind of, it looked glitchy, but it wasn't glitching. It was, it was fluctuating the lights to like my movement and the color of my shirt and the, the lights in the room. So I am so sorry about that, you guys, but I figured I'd just leave the clip in there so you guys know that I did do it. So I went in with my shark uh, vacuum to clean up all the dirt and everything like that on the floor. And I am going in with my O-Cedar mop in today's video and some pine salt. Because one, it smells good. And two, it works really, really good. Overflow there with the water. It works really, really good. And I also love the lemon scent one. Sorry, you guys. She's... <laughs> She has her headphones on and she's playing a game and singing the songs to it. So don't mind her um, So yeah going in with the OC or mop tried and true Love this thing, but don't get me wrong. I still love my Bissell Crosswave, but summertime is here kids people family guests stuff like that these floors get beat up in the summer so Going in and making sure I get this floor nice and clean. She's going crazy. I am sorry you guys I am so sorry <laughs> But I do not want to do a voiceover over and over and over and over again. Nobody has time for that. So I hope you guys don't mind. I forgot to tell you guys, I went in with the spray away glass cleaner on the mirror and on top of the washer and dryer. I didn't feel like I needed to go in with anything heavy duty on the washer and dryer. Just a quick little wet uh, dusting there for you. We emptied out now the bucket. Water was really clean, which I was kind of surprised at because the floor looked disgusting. Changed the shot. That's a shower liner. The toilet. Not the toilet. What is wrong with me? The trash bin liner. Woof. And we are now bringing in the baskets. The one to the left is dirty. The one to the right is from the load from earlier that I thought was dry, but ended up having to dry it again. We're going to fill that up, fill up the washer again, go in with the same detergent. But here I'm going to do, I'm not going to dry the shower curtain. I'm going to throw it right on up. It can dry while it's, you know, lined up and it makes the bathroom smell really, really good. That's a little tip for you guys if you didn't know that. And then once that is done, once the load in the dryer is done drying, um, we're going to throw that rug in and put it on a quicker cycle than it would be if it was a full load. So anyways, let's get this shower liner up and then we're going to move on into decluttering and organizing underneath the uh, sink area cabinet area we're not going to do the closet I just I didn't have the time I had plans this day so actually we're going to go into day two once we um head in into the master bedroom my bedroom and uh, then I'll put on the screen day two so you guys know that it wasn't all done in one day I did take two days because like I said I had plans so let's clean underneath this cabinet run through the master bedroom and then move on into day two. Got my cards ready to play, yeah. It's all a game. Who's gonna pay up? Much at stake. What would you give up? To change your face, luck is a maid Put a face down, but you're not down for me Don't play when I say that I'm wanting more, 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 more What's it for? Keep score, but you keep me guessing But I guess that you keep it on the low, 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 low No, no, no Are you ready for this? Come on, come on, we can just go all in Are you ready for this?
ready for this? Come on, come on, we can just go all in. Are you ready for this? Come on, come on, we can just go all in. We can just go all in. We can just go all in. bathroom is all nice and clean gave you guys an overview of how clean it was we cleaned out that cabinet now i really need to do the closet but we'll get to that one day i'm in no rush the mess will be there waiting for me but now we made it into my bedroom like i said we're just going to do a quick tidy up in here nothing crazy not doing baseboards and walls and stuff like that just a quick little get my room back together type of deal so the clothes on the bed was my folded clothes that I was living out of in a basket instead of putting it away. Well, let me know down in the comments if you like to live out of a basket too. Well, I don't like to live out of one. It just happens that way. It, it is kind of annoying having to shuffle through the basket to figure out where everything is. But I end up putting it away because I need that basket <laughs> for today's laundry that we were doing. And so it kind of pushed me to, you know, put the clothes away then. Uh leaving them in a basket and living out of it so once we are done putting these clothes away we're going to make up my bed clean my nightstand off and then we're going to go straight on into day two also before i forget we will be jumping um into the uh, bathroom here and there to you know switch over the loads and stuff like that i don't want anybody confused of like wait a minute wait weren't we just in there didn't we just do this it was because like i said we were switching over loads and stuff like that so anyways let's get back to it Tripping on yesterday Forgetting all of my mistakes And now I'm on my own, yeah Travel down the road, I walk alone, yeah I ain't tripping on yesterday Forgetting all of my mistakes And now I'm on my own, yeah Travel down the road, I walk alone, yeah I don't wanna keep on second guessing Guessing is useless Keep on second guessing Cause guessing is useless
Alrighty, you guys. So here I'm bringing the baskets over to the bed thinking I have enough time to do this, but I ended up not having enough time. So we are going to move on now into day two. Now, day two, I look like a who did it and ran hot mess. So do not mind that. Real life here. Real moments here. So, <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes this is what I look like I don't even care so sorry if you do but I don't um I don't know what the heck came out of my dryer someone must have left like paper towel or something in their like pants pocket and it just completely shredded so I had to go in quickly clean that up now when I do the laundry I like to fold the towels and like bigger things in my bathroom laundry area um, rather than bring it into the bedroom I I just rather fold the clothes in there and call it a day but as you can see there is some towels here I didn't do these loads my wonderful fiance did them for me so he just likes to wash and dry and then say here you go um, that's the part I don't mind doing it's the folding and putting away that I absolutely hate but if I'm gonna be completely actually honest here I hate doing laundry every part of it but if I had to pick a part to do it's the washing and drying I don't like folding and putting away absolutely hate that but what part of the process do you dislike most or you just completely despise it and don't do it at all curious to know because I know some people are like me and don't mind doing the switching over and starting and stuff like that and some people don't like that process and think it's very therapeutic to you know sit there fold the laundry and put it away you let me know down in the comments just curious to know but Earlier, I said that I'm going to do some YouTube magic where I show you uh, me doing the start of the first one, the end of the first one, and then like the start and end of the thir uh, third one. Was it third one? Yeah, third one. And uh, so that's why it went by so quickly. I wasn't going to have you guys sitting here for hours watching me fold laundry. It went by really, really fast. But we got it done nonetheless. And now we're putting it away. So yay for me. Usually I hate this part. So I wanted it out of my room. Get it out of here. I don't want to see it no more. So we're putting it away, getting it done. And then we're going to hop on into... Um, fixing up the bed giving you an overview you don't see me fix the bed because i didn't think you wanted to see it twice but fix up the bed give you an overview of it nice and clean and then we're gonna hop right on into to the uh, gardening now if you are not into the gardening like picking and looking at the garden and stuff like that i do not mind if you close out from here no big deal no biggie completely understand so this will basically be the end of video for you guys for some cleaning motivation laundry motivation i appreciate you taking time out of your day coming in here and watching it and you didn't have to but you did and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts but like i said once we are done here, we're going to go straight into gardening. Everything goes white. I can feel the breeze. Euphoric delight. Only you and me. We made it to the garden. Here is an overview of my corn. I actually have some corn growing right there. I am so excited. Hopefully there's some kernels on there. This is my yellow zucchini, well, yellow squash, green zucchini. That is, what is that? Green beans, tomatoes, cabbage, strawberries, cucumbers, and peppers. I'm showing you a little starter of the yellow squash here. I actually did already pick two yellow squash from my garden, but here's a little baby one for you guys to show you. Um, here is three zucchinis, actually four. There's one underneath the smaller one, but it's next to the bigger one that we're going to be picking in today's video. I actually picked one that was way bigger than this a couple of uh, days before that. It was like another size of that one. It was huge. And then we're going to pick some green beans after that we picked this little zucchini. I only got two green beans. Wasn't a lot, but that's okay. Something's better than nothing. And I don't know if you guys can tell from this shot here. 
I have some new flowers growing, which means more green beans. Yay, yay, yay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then we're going to pick some tomatoes. Now I have little red cherry tomatoes, like the husky cherry tomatoes that I'm going to be picking in today's video. No romas. I am also going to be picking some, they're called, what are they called? yellow sunnies or sunny something tomatoes the little yellow ones those are supposed to be yellow and they're so good if you've never tried them you ho oh, i suggest you do they're very yummy they say that um they're yellow but they're more to me like an orangey yellow well maybe because i like them more on the oranger side than the yellow side but they're so good you guys we love them here in our house and here we're picking some strawberries i got about five but i have so much more growing it looks like i'm skipping over some but i'm not it's because they still have white on them and i'm waiting for them to be completely pink before i pick them and then i only got one cucumber no biggie because i have more growing so not upset about that but this year is a bad year actually last year too but this year i'm not getting that many cucumbers last year all my cucumbers came in tasting funny like a sour like a weird sour taste this year they're just producing very slow um not really happy about it i the past the years before that i had a bunch and i didn't even know what to do with them but whatever it's okay we're still learning here my to, uh, peppers are turning red which that's when I like them I like them when they're red yellow or orange here's some baby cucumbers to show you guys and then we're going to move on into the other side of my garden on the other side of the the not field backyard and I'm going to show you my pumpkin this is my pumpkin plant it's growing it's thriving I'm loving it and I have a little baby one right here growing I'm so excited. I hope I get a ton, a ton to give to family and to decorate with. This is my watermelon. Don't think it's doing too hot. It's still growing, so I'm just going to let it be, let it grow, let it do its thing. This is broccoli, still growing, going strong. I was so nervous. I think it was either last week's video or la the Saturday before that one where they looked like they were not doing good at all. But they're doing great, and now we're going to pick some red raspberries for you guys. Well, not for you guys, but for you guys to see and for us to consume. Oh, we've been getting ras uh, red raspberries like crazy. So good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I'm going to show you guys my blackberry bush. We are almost there to start picking. We're going to have so many to eat and to do some fun stuff with and to share with family and friends. I cannot wait to try those, but you have reached to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming in and watching. You didn't have to, but you did anyways. You took time out of your day, and we appreciate that so, so much. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on any more content. Give this video a thumbs up if it gave you any motivation or you just enjoyed it. Share it to anyone that could use motivation or share it to someone that you think would like this garden tour or whatever you want to call it, but again you guys thank you so so much we truly appreciate it but i will catch you on saturday don't miss ashley's upload on thursday bye